Hey, welcome back. I'm doing another 3D French design for you today, but this time I'm attempting to do the braid nail. Now, I've done quite a few of different style braid nails, waves, and all sorts of stuff, just doing normal acrylic colour blocking. But I thought, well, why not give it an attempt to see if I can do the same kind of braid nail, but with the 3D French, you know, the shadowing and the depth to it? Well, why not give it a go so first I've come in with ballet shoes my favorite cover made it all dry I put it into a diamond shape point as well because that's obviously the kind of shape that I need to start the design filed it nice and crisp and then in with my first gel polish color and I'm using a dark blue a light blue and a white so I've just placed the gel polish where I would be putting this basically this clear block um on a normal braiding set this was obviously you would come in with your first color part of the color block and then you would wait for this part to dry file it nice and crisp and then move to your second color acrylic on the left hand side and then just continue to overlap and work as if you are plaiting hair um but obviously with it being the 3D French, we're using gel polish. So we're just using the gel polish to do where the colour block would be and then filling in the rest of it with the clear acrylic. So we're sticking to the 3D French design but doing it in a braid instead. How many more times I'm going to tell you that today? Because it's... If you didn't know, guys, we're doing it. <laughs> so yeah, I've done my blue, I've done my white. Make sure that you are filing them all nice and crisp and sharp. That's how you're going to get the best definition. In with the light blue, make sure you are going up and over those walls as well. Make sure you've got the full height. Make sure, make sure that you are doing your block of clear high enough to be able to have enough depth and when you add in the next gel polish along the side walls make sure you are fully covering that side Now when I got to here, I decided to kind of flip up the design a little bit. Um, I didn't want to just do a straightforward braid all the way down the nail. I wanted to see if I could implement different kind of shapes and I don't know, just see what else I could do. So I wanted to add in like a V. So the next colour up was white. So I decided that after I finished doing this one, I came in with my blunt cuticle nippers to try cut out that bulk because it was too much, too wide. Just cut that away and then file that nice and crisp. Now with this white look, I go all the way across one side and then all the way across the other side. So then this block of clear will be a V-shaped all the way from left to right. Try and make the clear acrylic as tidy as you can with your brush because then it saves you obviously doing have to do the cutouts and having to file as much. Um, I would always suggest to file just because, well, why not? You know, why not? If it makes it es extra, e extra, extra, come on words, out properly, come on. If it makes it nice and extra bit crispy, well, why not? It literally takes seconds. So in with another little block for the light blue. Shape that up nicely. Wait till that sets into place. Give it a proper file. 
Then in with the next gel colour, back to the dark blue. And another little clear colour, colour block, clear colour block, clear block of acrylic on top. And I've got a feeling I'm falling, show me the ring and I jump right through. And with the final white all the way to the tip, up the side of the walls, don't forget to do that so you're going to lose your design. Um, and then just cap over that white once it's fully cured in the lamp. Um, I will add on the end, I will link on the end screen, I will link it to my colour blocking video where I did a braid nail, a normal colour block. And I will also link it to my previous 3D French to help you out if you need any more like in-depth info. Um, give it a good foul through and a top coat and there is your finished design and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. So thank you as always for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!